And a happy Sunday afternoon, everyone. You're listening to The Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Terry Kalakos, chartered real estate and mortgage broker, as well as president of Northeast and CBC Alliance. And today, we're going to be talking about title insurance, what it is, and how important is it? We will also have a notary joining us today to answer some of uh, our questions and your questions uh, and help us figure out just how important title insurance really is. Joining me, we have my beautiful co-host, Marav Marciano, chartered real estate and mortgage broker and vice president of Northeast and CBC Alliance. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm cold. <laughs> oh, come on. Marav is wearing a big, big, big sweater here I'm in the studio. Today. <laughs> Feel free to call in with your questions to 514-790-0800 or you could text in to 514-800 and don't forget to write your name in the text. You could also visit us online at facebook.com slash northeast nordest and facebook.com slash cbc alliance quebec and please what do they have to do which they haven't done? Some subscribe of them subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is newsonthego.ca. Before we kick off today's show, I have a little story that I would like for everyone to close their eyes. If you're driving, please don't close your eyes. Just imagine yourself in this situation and you're going to understand why it is so important for us to have title insurance. Okay. So imagine you're a young couple looking to buy your first house. You've started working, you've saved up your money, and you've decided that you're going to go and buy a new construction property. You walk to the sales office, you meet a nice young man or a nice young lady who finds you your dream condo or home, doesn't matter. And you end up making an offer, you sign your preliminary contracts, you give your deposit, they are asking for 15, maybe 20% down as your deposit. And you wait the necessary time, sometimes one year, sometimes a year and a half, sometimes two years for the delivery of this beautiful condo or home that you have acquired. You finally get to the point where you go to the notary, you sign at the notary, you move into your beautiful home and then within two, three days of being there, all of a sudden you get served with legal hypotheques or construction hypotheques, however you want to call them. And these are tradespeople who have not been paid by the developer. And when this happens, now all of a sudden you find yourself in a situation where you're responsible to pay these tradespeople for the work, even though you've paid full price for your condo or your home and you have paid everything, they're coming after you. Because the reality is when you're acquiring a property, whether if the, if the builder or the developer does not pay who they're supposed to pay, it always falls on you. And in this situation, imagine where your equity in the property is so limited that the actual liens that these tradespeople put on your unit, plumbers, electricians, tilers, uh, sheetrock people, now all of a sudden exceed the value of your home. What do you do in that situation? You can't refinance. You can't go and get money out. You have no money to sue the builder. Maybe the builder has even gone bankrupt. So in case you guys are listening to this and saying, okay, Terry, like get over it. I mean, you know, this is how likely is that to happen? Yeah. How often does it happen? That's what I was going to say. The sad thing is it's something that comes up more often than you think. I've seen this multiple, multiple times. We have people that are going to come and see us after the fact, obviously. Mm -hmm. They're going to come and see us and going to say, I have these liens put on my property because the contractor went bankrupt and I am not able to pay them. So now these people are leaning on my home. I think the main question on people's minds is it's not fair. How yeah. is that even possible? 
Well, it's it is fair because people deserve to get paid. Mm -hmm. Right. The trades people deserve to get paid. And because you are the one that has that asset, which is the work that they've done, they will come after you. Yeah. And I know for a fact um, there's a, a few of our listeners because it's our listeners that have come to me with these problems. There's a few of our listeners that have had this issue occur. So now if they had title insurance, they would have been protected against something like that. Exactly. Is uh, So let's dive into it. What exactly is title, title insurance? insurance? Because this is the subject of this show. We want to make sure people are protected and never have to face a situation like that. Well, before, I will answer that in one second. There is an actually a very, there's a very long text, which I haven't gotten a chance to read it because it's extremely long, but I will read it during the break and then I'll answer it. Uh, but there is another text that just came in. Can the same situation with contractor liens, etc., be applied to a used house? Yes, absolutely. Any time that you do work on a property, if you do not pay the tradespeople or your general contractor does not pay the tradespeople, the tradespeople have a right. They have 30 days to put a lien on the property. And that's actually one of the reasons why, uh, for example, if you come to Northeast or, you know, typically if you go to any bank that's not associated to your builder, okay, if you come to Northeast or you go to one of those banks or you go to any other mortgage broker, what's going to happen is when we put... Uh, uh, when we get you the financing for the property, there's three things that'll happen. One, there has to be a pre-inspection uh, of the property before funds are released. Okay, so that's the first thing. Not necessarily related to that. The second thing that has to happen is that the you as the borrower has a choice of one of two things. Either they will do the the bank will do a fifteen percent holdback for 31 days. Why 31 days? Because anyone that needs to put a lien on the property can do so in the first 30 days. On the 31st day, it is released, okay? Or option three, you get a um, title insurance put on the property. That means that you don't have a 15% holdback. And in the event that something like this happens, title insurance will actually pay out and cover your losses, right? Yes. So you asked the, you asked the, <laughs> question i'm sorry i went off on a tangent but what was the question what's title insurance <laughs> i want to make sure that before we dive into a subject we give the basic definition of it to make sure that everybody is aware of what title insurance is okay so at its core title insurance protects you against losses that are caused by problems that are related to the title of your property mm -hmm. okay um coverage uh will will equal the market value or if it's done at a future point in time it'll it'll actually cover you know the future value of what it would actually cost to remedy the situation mm -hmm. so what are some of the things that are covered in title insurance right yeah we'll definitely go through all those points because there's a lot that it covers and i think that's important yeah uh, i think people want to know maybe if you didn't buy title insurance when you purchased the property can you buy it after yes you could buy uh, title insurance afterwards and as long as there's no underlying issue. So, for example, if you get that, you know, you, you get into 15 days of owning your property and all of a sudden you start getting served papers, it's too late. You can't yeah. buy the title insurance at that point, but you can buy it before. Uh, you could buy it at any point in time. And, you know, as a matter of fact, if you have, you know, especially when you're buying properties up north and stuff like that, if there's question marks about, you know, um, how the divisions are done. Like we have title insurance, mm -hmm. for example, on our country home because we know that there is potential issues with, um, what do you call it? The, the uh, cadastral, when the, the cadastral. Uh, when the old cadastral versus the new cadastral, it might have created some encroachments, things like that. So definitely that's a, that's a smart thing to do. Exactly. And I just want to clarify something because somebody wrote, uh, not every time the, uh, the work has to be mandated by the landlord, where of course, it's if you're a tenant and you hire someone to do work on your unit and the landlord is not aware of it, then theoretically that contractor should have gone to the landlord to uh, get everything approved properly. Uh, and a legal hypothetic can also be applied to a supplier. Yes, 100%. That supplier. Yes, can. we're talking any subcontractor. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. So Contractor and subcontractor. Yeah. I, I'm honestly... 
again, I go back to what we were saying originally, title insurance, and we'll get a little bit more into it. We're going to have uh, Laurence Akoka, who's a notary, uh, who's going to speak uh, about title insurance and how she sees things. Um, I think that it's an important topic and it's something that's, again, been coming up more and more often. When we come back, we're going to be taking, uh, we're going to be talking to Laurence Akoka, who will give us her opinion about title insurance. But, uh, but first, <laughs> we're off to the CJD traffic center. Hi. 20 westbound is still closed between the Fenelon exit and the following entrance. The service road has been shut down as well between the Dorval Circle and Fenelon due to a broken aqueduct. Suggested detour is Dorval South and Carson. Chican is doing fine, but to carry northbound is slow. The top half, the Semichal exit has been shut down off the Met westbound due to malfunctioning traffic lights. Filmery westbound, that is still closed between the exit for the five, the Bonaventure Expressway and Lucien Lallier. Collection interior paint now only forty ninety nine. Conditions may apply. Details at rona.ca. Let us know what you see on the roads. Call in your tips to Star 800. Next report, one thirty. The Real Estate Show is brought to you by Northeast Real Estate and Mortgage Agency. Anytime news breaks, CJAD 800 has it. A Wisconsin jury has found Kyle Rittenhouse not guilty in his double homicide trial. The prosecution claimed Rittenhouse went to the city to provoke violence. On the air, on Twitter, email to your inbox. Up to the minute. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Hey, Nissan, uh -huh. have you stopped thinking big? No. Are you talking about the 24-month lease instead of the 39-month lease for the redesigned kicks? Ah, okay. With its zero-gravity seats and available Bose speakers, it's clear we're thinking bigger than ever. And offering a small two-year lease is a big idea. Rediscover attraction with the 2021 kicks leasing from the equivalent of $55 a week for just 24 months. November 2nd to 30th, $236 per month. $1,495 down payment retail value of $22,043 on approved credit. Limited quantities. Details at Nissan. If you feel like curling up and listening to a sci-fi self-help romantic comedy about two long-lost sea turtles who, after a heartwarming reunion, turned to a life of crime because an underwater apocalypse gave rise to a mutant race of mind-controlling parrotfish, Audible may not be able to help you. If you're looking for pretty much anything else, Audible's got you covered. Now with unlimited access to thousands of select audiobooks, originals, and podcasts. Listen free for 30 days with trial on audible.ca. Making the most of Broly Martino's Ooh, Black Friday sale is so satisfying. Like, ooh, that's a great deal satisfying. It's finding a six-seater sectional sofa for just $999 satisfying. Or nabbing a 70-inch Samsung 4K smart TV for only $1019 satisfying. Wow, I mean, ooh. Until December 1st, enjoy Ooh, Black Friday deals on tons of products online or in-store. Broly Martin about equality and price. Selected brands and models. Do you or someone you know have problems with drugs or alcohol? We can help you. Call Andy's house at 514-738-ANDY. That's 514-738-2639. Call today. First, we need to decide on a neighborhood, then get a pre-approval, hopefully at a fantastic rate, find a realtor, a notary, get insurance. Let's just call Northeast. Northeast? Yes, Northeast. I'm Terry Kalakos, president and founder of Northeast. Whether you're buying your first home or you're a seasoned investor, my team of mortgage and real estate brokers and I are here to help. It's simple and it's free. Let Terry and his team make your dreams come true. Call Northeast today at 514-680-4674. Things are revving up again at the Montreal Casino. That means we're revving back up the restaurants, which also means we're revving up the shows. And we can't forget about revving up the music. Most importantly, we're revving up all your favorite games. Basically, we're revving back up everything that makes the casino the casino. Check the schedule and plan your visit at CasinoMontreal.ca. 18 years or older. Online at carsforkids.ca. That's cars with a K. Pick up is quick and easy. You'll benefit a child and get a maximum tax credit. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. 
Donate today and your car can be gone tomorrow. When the time comes to choose a new Toyota, never compromise on quality. Buy or lease your new Toyota at Spinelli Toyota. It's time to Toyota at Spinelli Toyota. Lease a 2021 Highlander XSE all-wheel drive from $141 a week for 64 months with $0 down at a 4.79% interest rate. The ultimate Toyota SUV at an all-in price from $51,109. Spinelli Toyota, the address of choice for all automotive services in Lachine and Point Claire. Shop Walmart's Black Friday Early Deals event now for our lowest prices of the year on hundreds of items, including brands like Keurig, Lego, and Nintendo. Shop in-store or online at walmart.ca. You're listening to The Real Estate Show with your real estate and mortgaging team, Terry Kalakos and Marav Marciano on CJAD 800. You're listening to The Real Estate Show, and today we're talking about title insurance. Feel free to call in to the show with your questions at 514-790-0800 or text into 514-800. Uh, joining us, we have notary Laurence Akoka, or I should say Maître Laurence Akoka, uh, who, like many notaries, sometimes has title insurance added to a purchase transaction and who will help us figure out just how important this really is. Welcome, Laurence. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, Laurence. How are you? I'm doing very good. And yourself? We're excellent. We're excellent. So, I mean, let's let's dive into this, right? So, yes. as a uh, as a buyer or a homeowner, is it important to take title insurance? It depends each file. Okay. So, obviously, I'm not a specialist in title insurance. I can only speak on my behalf for my personal files. Of course. Uh, every notary works really differently. I, on the other hand, in my files in the last year, I've been taking title insurance in almost 99% of my files. Wow. Yes. It's a very big business for them, but we don't have certificates of locations in our files. The surveyors are very late in their delays in producing, in producing the certificates of location, and therefore, uh, to protect the bank, to protect, to protect our purchasers, we have to take title insurance. Very interesting. And what's yeah. the reason that uh, they don't take the certificate of location? Is it timing? It's a timing issue? It's because of COVID, they've been, uh, they, they weren't working for a great period of time, and therefore they're late now, I suppose. The surveyors are late. If you want to order a certificate of location now, the delay is April. Wow. So they're about three, four months um, in the production of their certificates. So we can't delay the sale as notaries. People need to move in. And we can't stop the sale either. So we need to find an alternative. And the alternative is really title insurance. So I heard you in the beginning of the show and everything you said is exactly right. Uh, the banks on their hand uh, ask the notaries to keep the 15% retainer when it's a new construction for about 35 days. Wow. Or we yeah. take title insurance. Yeah. So the title insurance became the new thing to... Um, to basically just compensate absence of certificates of location. Okay. But when there's a case where there's nothing, if there's no issues, I always offer title insurance to clients because it does um, cover about 33 different, um, you know, title defects that there can be in a file, whether it's an encroachment, like you said earlier, or whether it's a, uh, the non-respect of a zoning bylaw or, you know, the absence of a, an actual certificate. Okay. So there are many reasons why we take it. And um, and I know that there's uh, actually, it's funny because at this specific point in time when people drive are, are driving, they're usually coming back from their country houses listening to us. And one of the things that I've realized and that we do often is if there's issues with p uh, potential potability of water, I mean, title insurance will protect yes, people for absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. they do. They do. That's uh, one of the other 33 coverage that they that they take. So the good thing about uh, the insurance title is that it's a one premium, a one time premium that you pay. And either it's the seller that will pay it when there is a title defect or the purchaser will pay it himself mm -hmm. when there's no title defects. Right. So and right. it's a one time fee. And so that's the advantage. And am I am I correct to say that, you know, this is obviously something that you can add on to your property at any point in time, but you obviously cannot add it 
uh, after, a, you know, when you know that there's an issue, correct? That's correct. Uh, the title insurance covers everything that's in the future. So okay. any title fraud, let's say, mm -hmm. and it also covers everything that's in the past. So an example would be unknown unknown work orders, zoning violation. Uh, the the owner did his deck, didn't mm -hmm. get a permit, sells. The purchaser goes to the city to get a permit for something else, and then realizes that no permit was given for the balcony or the new deck that was that was done. Title insurance, no matter what, would cover for it, even if the buyers didn't know about it. And that's the most important thing is that you can't know about it. So it's future and past. But it's not something that oh, there's the city sends you a letter, tells you, hey, you're not conform, and then you go get title insurance. It doesn't work that way. So um, one of the questions that we have that comes up very often, and, and there is actually a couple of, uh, of, of texts that came in related to this. Um, obviously, it's going to be a hard question to, to answer, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Typically, what are we looking at if we want title insurance? Cost-wise. Cost-wise. Yeah. Okay, so you have to calculate in residential, it's about 90 cents per, do per thousand. Okay, all right, so that's good. So you, you, you get a good idea. For commercial properties, it's about 50 cents okay. per, per thousand. So, so it's, it's easy. The notary all has a fee that they charge because we have to prepare it. Mm -hmm. So you have to add that on. Every notary charges different prices, but you have to calculate that. You have to take that into consideration. But residential and commercial, that's the prices. In general. In general, okay. And some banks uh, automatically want title insurance to be added, right? Absolutely. So all the virtual banks in Toronto, automatically you need a title insurance. So B2B, a First National Equitable Bank, all these types of banks, automatically you have a title insurance that comes with it. Um, when it comes to different banks, the banks from Canada, uh, like in mostly Quebec, what they do is they leave it up to the notary to decide. So if we see in a certificate of location, there's a shed that encroaches on a servitude or there's uh, the property is on the city, you know, anything that has encroachment, automatically we take it and we explain it to the bank. And, but we have to tell the bank that we take title insurance. Okay. So you just said something very interesting, okay? And it's almost, um, I'm going to, I don't want to say I'm playing devil's advocate here, but so Let's say we see on the certificate, there's a certificate of location. We see that there's an encroachment. We take the title insurance to protect against future claims. That would be okay, correct? It's yes. only if there's a claim that you can't set up the title insurance. Yes, that's exactly that. Interesting. They Interesting. Won't, they won't so you're, cover it. you're protecting and yourself against future problems, basically. Yes. Okay. But you, you also have to know that each case is different. So I never tell a client, yes, for sure, it's going to be covered. I have to verify with the subscribers there at FCT. They have specialists there that look at the problem and they send us back an email to tell us if they cover it or not. It's not every issue that they cover, by the way. Yeah. So we have to be very specific when we take a title insurance, we explain everything. And then they get back to us. It's not automatic. Oh, yes, they cover everything. Got they it. get back to us and they eliminate uh, and basically delete things that they don't cover. And we explain that to the client. So we have transactions where, you know, we see a hypothek that was never published in the last 30 years. And we can't find the owner or the company that was the creditor. Wow. It happens. Yeah. So I ask the title insurance, again, we don't want to delay the sale. We want everybody to be happy and to go through the closing at the time that they need it to be. So if we ask the title insurance if they cover it, they do great. If they don't, then we need to correct the title. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and obviously, there's there's multiple companies, right, that provide title insurance. It's not just yes. FCT. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, there's title, in, there's a steward title, there's Chicago title, FCT, um, that's the three I can think of. Yeah. But there are others. That's interesting. So, I mean, if one doesn't, I, I know that we've had an experience where, you know, the t one title insurance company wasn't uh, able to cover a specific defect. And if you remember, Marave was specifically related to that little vestibule that a client had built in front of their house. And the owners that were buying the house basically said, uh, you know, this is illegal. Uh, so what happens here? And uh, FCT had actually refused it. They were like, no, we know that we know about it. It's going to be an issue down the, the line. We're not covering it. But then I think it went to Chicago or Stewart and they were like, yeah, well, no problem. We'll do it if there's yeah. ever an issue. Uh, 
as long as you tell the title insurance that another company refused it, it's okay. But you have to tell them the truth. That's, it's part of our questionnaire. Beautiful. We, we do have forms to fill up for them. Laurence, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Well, my office is in Ville Saint Laurent. I'm at 665 De Carey. And my phone number is 514-748-6539. And my office has been there for uh, the last 15 years. Excellent. So, Thank you Any for your questions, time. You guys can call. My pleasure. Thank you, Laurence. Enjoy Laurence. the rest of the show. Thank you so much. Uh, I love, I love Laurence. She's such a wealth of knowledge. She's such and such an amazing notary. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be taking a look in detail at what coverage title insurance has to offer. But first, we're off to a CTV news update. This newscast brought to you by Renovco, celebrating 20 years as Montreal's leader in home renovation and restoration. Renovate with the best. Renovco.com. Good afternoon. It's 1.30. I'm Nicole Perrano with a CTV News Update. Here's what's making news right now. Dominique Anglade's Liberals are proposing to give up to $2,000 a year to seniors who want to keep living at a private residence. If elected, a Liberal government would implement the tax-free allowance in the first year of its mandate. A Parti Québécois candidate has put their name forward to run for the seat in the Marie-Victorin riding. Former federal NDP deputy Pierre Nantel will be running in the next by-election. PQ leader Paul Saint-Pierre Plamondon says he welcomes Nantel's candidacy. And the president of the International Olympic Committee spoke over a video conference with Chinese tennis player Peng Shui. Shui reappeared this morning in public after having gone missing weeks ago. She told Thomas Bach she was safe and sound at her home in Beijing. With the latest from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, here's Jill Fitzgerald. 20 westbound is still closed between the Fenelon exit and the following entrance. The service road has been shut down between the Dorval Circle and Fenelon due to a broken aqueduct. Suggested detours Dorval Avenue South and Carson. Semichal exit is closed off the Met westbound due to malfunctioning traffic lights on Cremazy. And the Villemarie westbound is closed between the exit for the Bonaventure Expressway and Lucien Lallier. At Sports Experts in Atmosphere, Black Friday super deals have started. Enjoy up to 50% off on products and their flyer details in store. Let us know what you see on the roads. Call in your tips to Star 800. Next report, 145. Your Dermaville Weather Center forecast, mainly cloudy today with periods of rain beginning this evening, the high 7. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and cloud with winds gusting to 50, a high of 7 with temperature falling to plus 3 in the afternoon. And Tuesday, a mix of sun and cloud with a high of minus 2. Your next CTV News update is at 2 o'clock. The Real Estate Show is brought to you by Northeast Real Estate and Mortgage Agency. What's Christmas without family? And a little chaos. Santa's mailroom bursts into pandemonium when an elf on her first day on the job opens a surprise delivery in Rebecca Northen's delightful holiday comedy, All I Want for Christmas, at Centaur Theatre November 16th to December 5th. For ages 12 and up, because it's a little naughty, call 514-288-3161 or visit centaurtheatre.com for tickets. Production partner, KPMG. This Black Friday weekend, when you join TELUS, you can make a real difference. When you buy a new phone, we'll give a phone to help connect Canadians in need, like keeping a young person leaving foster care connected to their friends and support network. This Black Friday, make your purchase count. Learn more at telus.com slash give one. Conditions apply. TELUS, let's make the future friendly. You can count on me because I can count on you. It's gray, it's gloomy, but not at Germain La Rivière, which is brightening up the drabness with Black Friday weeks. At Germain La Rivière, you'll save the equivalent of the two taxes on certain selected brands and models, and enjoy Black Friday rebates on appliances, Black Friday bargains on furniture, and Black Friday prices on mattresses. Until December 6th, for the blackest and brightest deals in town, Germain La Rivière. Enchanté. Saint-Hyacinthe, Laval, and Cartier d'Istrand. This year, choose naughty or nice at the Drive It Home Holiday Event. Get naughty with up to $9,750 in discounts on select Ram 1500 Classic models. Or get nice 
with up to $7,500 in discounts on select Jeep models, Canada's number one selling 4x4 SUV brand. See your Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer for details. At jackpotcity.net, we know how to build you the best casino, so you can do amazing things with just one chip. Our table games are home to perfection. We have over 500 online slot games, all designed for excitement, including the world-renowned progressive jackpot slot, Mega Moolah. Play for free at jackpotcity.net today on your tablet, laptop, or mobile. Jackpotcity.net, casino games perfectly made for you. Free play only website, 18 plus. Please play responsibly. Do it once, do it right. With CM Textiles, your one-stop shop for fashion fabrics, custom blinds, draperies, and upholstery fabrics for all your residential and commercial needs. Specialists in motorization with remote wireless technology so you can sit back and control your window dressings from anywhere. Just launched their dynamic full winter collection, currently 30% off fabric for drapes, design, home decor, and haute couture. Four showrooms to serve you. Online at cmtextiles.com and on Instagram at CM Textiles. You're listening to The Real Estate Show with your real estate and mortgaging team, Terry Kalakos and Marav Marciano on CJAD 800. You're listening to The Real Estate Show, and today we're talking about title insurance and what coverage it has to offer us as a home buyer or owner. You can call in with your questions to 514-790-0800, or you could text into 514-800, and don't forget to write your name in the text. Um, we do have a, I have a very long text here, which um, I do want to cover. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do this very quickly. Uh, and it's a it's a customer, it's Margaret, who, it's a customer, sorry, it's a texter named Margaret who had a uh, differing of opinions from last week's show for me. So she writes, I beg to differ with your closing comment from previous show. You said that owning real estate is a privilege afforded to those who have money. My point was that everyone deserves a home as a human right. I meant renters too, people who, uh, it's very long. It's, it, That's so what I, I was going to say. I'm, I don't think we can read the whole thing. I'm not, but basically I'm going to, I'm going to summer, uh, summarize it a little bit. She's basically saying that, you know, I said that only people with money have the right to buy real estate. I think your exact words were owning real estate is a privilege, not a right. Exactly. Yeah. It's a privilege, not a right. Yeah. That doesn't mean only people with money are buying, are, are able to buy real estate. That's not what I meant by it. What I meant by what I said was, if you can't afford to buy real estate because you don't have the necessary down payment or your income is not strong enough, well, then at that point, you're it's you can't buy real estate unless you're buying it cash because don't forget at the end of the day there is someone that's taking a chance on you i.e the bank or the virtual lenders so there is someone there that's saying hey i believe in you based on your credit based on the amount of money that you have or based mm -hmm. on the amount of money that you're earning that you are going to be able to make good and pay this properly yeah, they're not going to lend you hundreds of thousands of dollars if without... not millions yeah right yeah. to buy a property and it's very important that we don't forget that now yes and margaret does go on to say how rent is going up yes rent is going up but so is the prices of homes and so is the prices of taxes there is there's an increase in cost of living unfortunately and i would love to live in a time where nothing moves right where, you know, you can go and buy a loaf of bread for five cents, but this is not the world that we live in. The reality is there's inflation. There's uh, a cost of goods goes up, cost of labor goes up. And because of that, this is where we're at. So, I, you know, Margaret, thank you for your text, but you have to remember things have to evolve. Just like rent evolve, just like the price of real estate evolves, so does rent. I'm the type of landlord, by the way, where I don't raise my rent like crazy. I have tenants that are still paying $555 for a six and a half. Why? Because I don't need to raise that rent. So I'm that landlord. And I do agree that people need to have affordable housing, but that's not necessarily everyone's opinion. So thank you for the text. Um, and then we have another text, which is, I think, a fantastic one, which says, 
what's the difference between mortgage insurance and title insurance? And that's from Drew. And Drew, I want to thank you for this text because I know that this is something that was on a lot of people's minds. So let's talk a little bit about mortgage insurance. Okay, so mortgage insurance typically is CMHC or SAGEN or Canada Guarantee Coverage, which means that if you're not putting the prerequisite 20% down payment, when you're buying a property, the banks are taking a risk on lending you that that money. So therefore, they have to ensure that they will not be in the hole in the event that you don't pay. So in the event of default, default insurance, so the CMHC and all that stuff, will make the bank whole and then the you know they'll sell the property. And if there is a loss, they will come after the vendors or sorry, the well, the you know, the, the, the people that had taken the insurance to make sure that they're covered. Title insurance is completely different where it's protecting your title against defects, which we're going to cover in a second. So let's go into Marav on a, as a segue. <laughs> <laughs> let's look at some of the things that title insurance is going to actually protect you for, right? Laurence did mention uh, a few things. Let's look at some things in a little bit more detail. Yeah, like title defects. You mentioned it, title defects. It's important. Uh, you know, you buy a property a few months later, somebody shows up and says, uh, hey, I was supposed to inherit this property. Yeah. Um, what do you do now? You start with the legal actions, et cetera. Who's going to pay for all of that? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's part of the title defects where somebody else uh, lays claim to the title of your property. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's also non-compliance with municipal bylaws or uh, zoning, like uh, like the previous notary was mentioning. You know, there's specific bylaws to every city. There's specific zoning rules, and if you end up getting dinged for that, mm -hmm. who's going to pay for that? Maybe there's specific things that they're asking you to take down or tear down because the municipal bylaw does not allow for it. Who's going to pay for the cost of that? You know, if you have title insurance, you do a claim and the, the title insurance pays for it. You know, so it, it is really important because at the end of the day, like she mentioned, the deck, you know, somebody built a deck. You call the city to, you know, to put a gazebo down and they say, wait a minute, who built this deck? We never saw this permit. Yeah. You got to tear it down. And, you know, I'm going to just to kind of add to that. Uh, let's look at a situation that we have on one of our properties, which is our home up north. And it happens very often up north. The original arpenteur that had, you know, for the city that had come in and had designed the lots in St. Adolphe around this lake that, you know, uh, we have uh, up north. Um they based the lots off of the street. So they went 90 degrees off of the street. And then at some point later on, a new arpenter for the city came in and said, no, it doesn't make sense to make the lots off of a 90 degree. We have to angle them based on north or something. I don't know what they did, mm -hmm. but everything got shifted by about like, I don't know, like 10 degrees. Now, when you're talking about a huge lot and, you know, you shifted by... 10 degrees or 15 degrees. Now, all of a sudden, the corner of my garage is encroaching on the neighbor's lot. Uh, lot. The, you know, my, our other neighbor, their part of their house is encroaching on our property and so on and so forth all around the lake. When the city realized that they had made a blunder, they said, oh my God, we're sorry. We can't revert it until everyone agrees around the lake that we have to revert it back to the way that it was which as far as I'm concerned, it was a cash grab. But anyways, <laughs> so the city says we're going to charge 300 bucks each person and we're going to revert everything back. Um, and, but everyone has to agree. And there was this one guy around the lake, apparently a Greek guy. I don't know who it was. <laughs> Maybe it was you. <laughs> it wasn't me. Who happened because of the new lots, he ended up getting a little bit more land. So because he ended up getting a little bit more land, he decided, no, I don't want to change the, the lots. So it has to stay like this. So now what happens? Everyone that sells a property around that lake needs to get title insurance. Yeah, to protect against the encroachments on a neighboring lot. So that's one of the protections as well, encroachments on neighboring lots. Exactly. And uh, we have another text, which I find very funny. Uh, why am I charged a welcome tax when I don't live there? Life is too short to be little. Well, yeah, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Life is too short to be little. If you're buying a property and yes, 
welcome tax. Let's be honest here. It's a terrible, terrible but thing. But every city has it. But it's transfer taxes. Exactly. You, we have to look. What do property taxes pay for, right? Property taxes are going to pay for garbage, uh, garbage and recycling, right? They're going to pay for sewers. They're going to pay for the water that comes to your house. They're going to pay for the road. They're going to pay for drainage. They're going to pay for snow removal. They pay for street lighting. How do you think the, the streets are lit up? Mm -hmm. It's your taxes that pay for that, right? Police, fire protection. Cleaning of the streets. Cleaning of the streets. Yeah. All of that stuff is related to taxes, municipal. Personally, as much as I hate paying them, I welcome them sometimes. And, you know, I've actually, in a couple of checks that I've sent, I've said, thank you for the service. <laughs> you know, just want to make myself feel a little bit better. That's for... going a little too far there. <laughs> Um, we have another uh, question. My dad recently passed away. I need to put the house in my mother's name. How do I go about doing this? And that's from Vicky. So Vicky, um, I just realized I, I, I pushed up against the clock here. So I'm going to answer this uh, text right after we take a small detour over to the CJD traffic center. 20 westbound is still closed between the Fenelon exit and the following entrance. The service road is shut down as well between Dorval and Fenelon due to a broken water main. Suggested detour is Dorval Avenue southbound at Carson. Tecan westbound is looking good. There is a bit of volume up at the top of the northbound side of DeCarry. San Michel exit has been shut down off the Met westbound due to malfunctioning traffic lights on Cremacy. Vilmarie westbound, that is another weekend long closure shut down between the exit for the 10 and Lucien Laulier. At Sports Experts and Atmosphere, Black Friday Super Deals have started. Enjoy up to 50% off on products and their flyer details in store. Let us know what you see on the roads. Call in your tips to Star 800. Next report, 2 o'clock. The Real Estate Show is brought to you by Northeast Real Estate and Mortgage Agency. Tom Mulcair, former leader of the opposition, one of the best political minds in the country, and CJAD 800 commentator on twice a day to cut through the political clutter. Brought to you by Guaranteed Industries. Now's the best time to have your ductwork clean. Call Guaranteed Industries at 514-342-3400. Your duct cleaning specialists, Tom Mulcair, 735 with Andrew and 505 with Aaron and Natasha on News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Oh, marvelous sleep. Dream that is calling. Oh, marvelous sleep. Colorful sprawling. Oh, marvelous sleep. Go drool on the sheet. Oh, marvelous sleep. Dangle your feet. Hit snooze on repeat. Our Black Friday sale's been extended at Dormez Vu. Tuck into marvelous deals on the best brands. Hurry, it all ends today. Shop now at Dormez Vu. Marvelous sleep. Sleep well, stay well. Dormez Vu. In the morning, when you leave for work and you hear, Have a great day, Mom. It also means, Be careful at work, Mommy. Don't take any risks and always pay attention. I don't want anything to happen to you. I want to play with you tonight. I love you. Your health and safety matters to so many people. At work, let's identify the risks and work together to eliminate them. A message from the CNESST. And now, the I'm getting my car ready for winter category presented by Ford Service. Which package will give you the confidence to face winter? The winter performance package. Yes! It includes tires, wheels, and sensors. What do you get when you buy this package? Confidence? Oh, not the answer I was looking for, but yes. 40,000 Ford Pass rewards bonus points. Yes! Where can you make an appointment to get your vehicle ready for winter? I know, Ford Service. Correct! Because at Ford Service, every car counts. Contact your Ford Service dealer today or visit ford.ca first we need to decide on a neighborhood then get a pre-approval hopefully at a fantastic rate find a realtor a notary get insurance let's just call northeast northeast yes northeast i'm terry Kalakos, president and founder of northeast whether you're buying your first home or you're a seasoned investor my team of mortgage and real estate brokers and i are here to help it's simple and it's free let terry and his team make your dreams come true call northeast today at 514-680-46 74. Beat the crowds during Lynn and Chess' incredible pre-Black Friday sale. Why wait for Black Friday when you can get those kind of prices right now? Crazy Black Friday deals with savings up to 75% on a huge selection of products that are in stock and ready to go. There is no better time to buy for bed, bath, kitchen, and every room in your home. 
Hurry in to Linen Chest during their crazy pre-Black Friday sale with huge savings on products in store and online. Traveling soon? Need a COVID test for work or your kid's school? Go Test Rapid gets results fast. 15 minutes for antigen, 12 to 24 hours for PCR. Approved by all major airlines, Health Canada certified. Downtown, the South Shore and the West Island. Go Test Rapid.com. CTV's The Voice has gone grande. Ariana Grande. The new coach that's shaking things up and making everyone hit all the right notes. Hope you choose me. Get into The Voice, Monday at 8, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. Making the most of Broey Martineau's Ooh! Black Friday sale is so satisfying. Yeah, like, ooh, what a steal satisfying. It's finding a Sealy Opal double mattress and box spring for only $399 satisfying. Or nabbing in a mono washer and dryer set for just $13.98 satisfying. Wow! I, I mean, ooh! Until December 1st, enjoy Ooh! Black Friday deals on tons of products online or in-store. Broey Martino, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. New Look's Black Friday event is on with hundreds of glasses at 50 and 75% off, including Coach, Burberry, Kate Spade, Gucci, and many more. Book your appointment now on newlook.ca. Sale ends November 28th. Conditions apply. Jesse Lauren Doe, Optician. You're listening to The Real Estate Show with your real estate and mortgaging team, Terry Kalakos and Marav Marciano on CJAD 800. Thank you for tuning in. In today's show about title insurance and the texts are coming in fast and furious and everyone wants to know where my properties are located. <laughs> So I have uh, I have a few people that said, oh, my God, I'm in shock with the amount that that you're charging your tenants. Please tell them, because when I do want to raise the rent by five dollars, they freak out. But anyways, uh, I have properties in Hochelaga. I have in Lachine. I have in the plateau. And it's not all of them, people, <laughs> that is five hundred dollars for a six and a half. But I am a fair landlord in the sense that I try as much as I can not to raise it. Last year, I did no increases on the rent and the year before that i didn't do any increases this year i probably will how much it's not going to be much but and, and this renter this renter has been there for 20 years they've his... been there longer yes. than i've owned the exactly building. so, so yeah. yeah it's that's another story yeah exactly oh but that's so funny i i found that really uh funny and and drew responded also saying in germany you pay taxes once and that's it None of this welcome tax stuff. Um, so just going back to, uh, I think it was Vicky who wanted to know how to, hi, my dad recently passed away. I need to put the house in my mother's name. How do I go about doing this? Well, Vicky, I mean, obviously, if there's a will, you need to go to the notaries with the will. You got to settle the estate, and then you're going to be able to transfer the property over to your mom's name. If there's no will, there's a problem because in the event that there's no will, the property goes partially to you and partially to your mom so that could be a and little that's bit a of much an longer process much longer process when there's no will because you have to yeah jump through the hoops but a good notary is worth their weight in gold in situations like this and i encourage you to uh, reach out uh, to laurence if you want you could even call us at the office at uh, 514-680-46 74 and i will be uh, happy to kind of continue the the conversation with you and and put you in touch with uh, laurence or uh, anyone else that's close by to you okay so i think um i think it's important a good a good notary in a situation like this now uh just do want to say something else some good news with res respect to uh um welcome tax welcome tax are only payable when you're transferring a property to someone that's at arm's length if a property is transferring between spouses, there's no welcome tax to pay. There's an administration fee of like, I don't, I don't remember how much it is, 250, 300 bucks, something like that, but there's nothing else to pay. Mm -hmm. If you transfer a property from your name to a holding company that you own or to your spouse's holding company, there is no welcome tax to pay. So there's all kinds of interesting little ways that you don't have to pay the welcome taxes. And I believe going between uh, from uh, parents to kids also i think there's no welcome taxes but that one no you you can the the notary will confirm that yes okay so we'll just leave it at that yes yeah no you do save that oh that's good. yeah that's good yeah so it's it's not so bad it's not so so bad absolutely um yeah <laughs> but if you do buy sorry i will say this but if you do buy a property 
and the property that you're buying it, so let's say you buy it for 100,000 and the municipal value is 200,000, uh, you pay welcome tax on 200, not on 100. It's always the higher of the two. Exactly. So let's continue on with our discussion about, you know, what stuff welcome uh, welcome tax covers. Oh title, insurance. title insurance covers. <laughs> so we were talking about this during the break a little mm -hmm. bit. One of the really important ones and the most interesting is the title defects, right? And that also, I would say, or fraud, let's just say. So let's say you're a snowbird. You go away for two, three months. You come back, you go to put the keys in your door, and the key doesn't work. And you say, what's going on here? And you start trying to jimmy the door. And then all of a sudden, some guy opens doors and says, hello, can I help you? <laughs> And if you look at them and you say, who are you? Who are you? I live here. This is my house. I just bought it. I just bought it. Wow. Title insurance. That happened you. in Utrecht a couple of years ago. That's right. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It happens. You know. So that's considered uh, fraud or identity theft. And yeah. definitely uh, title insurance covers you for something like that. Um, because, again, it's... You've been you've been defrauded of the title of your property. Exactly, exactly. You know? Sorry, I, I have to say this. We got a text also online, and uh, this is uh, it's from uh, Ioannis, and he says, "Hello, my fellow Castanian and fellow Canadian. Hello, I had to mention that Castania is the place where my house is in Greece, and he's from there as well. So it's good to see that we have a a, a really hello, nice hello. reach." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's let's keep going back uh, to what we were talking about. About what else are we talking about? We're talking, we're about, talking about charges about that were uh, placed against the property. So uh, anything that appears on title of the property between the time you've signed the deed of sale uh, to the time that it was published, because sometimes it could be a day, two days, three days before the notary actually publishes it. During that time, there's a change to the title. Mm -hmm. You're protected against that. Debts that were incurred by the previous owner. They didn't pay condo fees. You suddenly get slapped with a lien. Because of the condo fees. Because of the previous owner who didn't pay the condo fees. Well, the interesting thing is, isn't it a notary's responsibility to make sure that when you're inheriting, or sorry, not inheriting, but when you're acquiring a property, that you're receiving that property free and clear of all encumbrances? But sometimes the lien comes after the fact. Right, exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem. And sometimes the condo association and the condo, like that, there's no communication, you know. So sometimes they're not even aware that it's already gone to collection. The collection agency has already taken the steps to put the lien on the property. Everything is already in, in the works. And, you know, suddenly you find yourself buying this condo. And a couple of weeks later, there's a lien on it for unpaid condo fees from the previous owner. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It can yeah. happen. It, it does happen. It does and happen. And we've seen it. We've seen it uh, where you buy a condo with outstanding condo fees. Usually the notary is aware of it when they ask for, uh, they ask the condo association to send them all the information and all that. But it could happen that they're not. Yeah. Uh, 100% no welcome tax from parent to child. I experienced this this year. That's from Rick. I, Thanks, that's what I, Rick. Yes, it, absolutely. I that's, didn't want to, I prefer when I don't know 100%. Not to miss. But I knew. I knew. Yeah, you gave I me that look. That, yeah, I know. <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what to do when someone defrauds you of your land? And exactly like I said before, you knock on the door, exactly like you said before, you knock on the door and somebody says, I own this property, but was sold out under you without it even without you even noticing if you were gone away. So what do we do? First thing that you need to do, file a police report, obviously. The second thing you need to do is you contact a lawyer. If you had title insurance, you contact your title insurance company. And the title insurance company would cover the legal costs as well of something like that. Yes. So that's important, not only to remedy the situation, but the legal fees that you incur to remedy the situation. Yeah. Um, generally, in a situation like this, you end up in a, in a situation where you have a massive, massive amount of bills and stuff that are, are going to accumulate because of, of something like that that happens. And, you know, title insurance is obviously something that's 
going to help you out. And there's still texts coming in, and I'm not going to be able to get to them because, again, I'm pushing up against the clock. But um, I am going to answer them. I'm actually going to take a snap uh, shot of them, and I'm going to answer you guys uh, right after the show. So, guys, till next week. Love you all. Have a blessed week. If you want to get a hold of us, you can reach us, Marav, at... At the office at 514-680-4674. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, newsonthego.ca. Again, till next week, everyone. Have a blessed week. Love you all. The opinions expressed in the preceding program were provided for general information purposes only and should not be construed as advice from CJ8800 